So welcome to Foxtech and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can open your iPhone Safari tabs on your Mac. If you want a very seamless web browsing experience across your Apple devices, this guide will guide you and help you synchronize your Safari tabs without any effort. So let's get started. To enable this feature, we need to use a functionality called Handoff. Handoff is part of Apple's ecosystem, allowing you to start a task on one device and pick it up on another. Here's how you can set it up. First, on your iPhone, open the Settings app. Scroll down and tap on General, and inside of the General Settings, look for the section labeled AirPlay and Handoff. Tap on it to open its settings, and you'll see an option called Handoff. And you just want to make sure that it is enabled. There is a brief description of what Handoff does, but essentially it allows your iPhone and Mac to share activity information, including your Safari tabs. Once Handoff is enabled on your iPhone, let's move to your Mac and ensure that both your iPhone and Mac are connected to the same iCloud account and are within close proximity. Now, when you have a Safari tab open on your iPhone, you'll notice a small iPhone icon appearing on the dock of your Mac. This icon indicates that the Safari tab from your iPhone is available to continue on your Mac. Simply click on this icon and the tab will open in full on Safari on your Mac, allowing you to browse and continue doing whatever you left off. The beauty of Handoff is that it works in reverse as well. So if you start browsing on your Mac and want to continue on your iPhone, you'll see a similar icon on the bottom left corner of your iPhone's lock screen or in the app switcher. Swipe up on this icon to continue browsing from your Mac's Safari on your iPhone. This feature isn't limited to just Safari, of course. Handoff works with various Apple apps applications, including notes, mail, messages are very commonly used with this. So yeah, it is a very nice way to maintain continuity across your devices. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you in the future.